Hello Brunnington, welcome to another edition of Cooking Up a Storm. Today's recipe is a super easy fruit crumble, suggested by Rebecca from Rock Cafe. For this recipe, you'll need 200 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of margarine, 50 grams of caster sugar, one tin of your favourite fruit filling. Once again, Mark will be cooking up today's recipe, and hopefully he's remembered his promise. I am shocked. I gave you my word. No more hijinks, no more shenanigans, not even general revelry. I am a man of my word. I will stick to what I promised. However, it's a serious business. So, I've washed my hands. Let's make sure we have the proper attire. Really? What? Don't you like it? It's Swedish. So, now that we're properly dressed for the occasion, let's get on with the baking. <sighs> I try, viewers. I honestly do. I'm sorry, Wendy. But, like the best chef say, birdie birdie, skadoo skabirdy. No! Into the bowl! <coughs> sorry. Into the bowl, we put 200 grams self-raising flour, 50 grams of sugar, and 100 grams of margarine. And what we need to do is we need to crumb them. We need to mix it together until it resembles breadcrumbs. You've got to get your fingers right in. Don't worry about getting margarine stuck to your fingers. It'll all come off on the flour. And once you've done that for long enough, you get a lovely breadcrumb-like mix. What you do then, is you get a baking dish, take your pie filling and just pour it into the bottom. If you have some trouble, you can always spoon it in. Once that's filled, just lay it flat so it covers the bottom. And after that, you lay your mix. One wibbly wobbly jump cut later. There's your mix. And we'll put that in our preheated oven. So let's give this another look and see how it is. Oh, smells good. Oh, I think pride goeth before a fall, but I think, oh, look at that, that's crisp, crumbly right down to the bottom, oh, whether you take it with ice cream, with cream, or with custard, this is going to be a rare treat. Mmm, I'll have custard with mine, please. And now we come to it. The proof of any pudding, the eating. I'm going to go for a little bit of traditional custard. Yes, as ever. As ever, mine's lumpy. And maybe just a spoonful more. Ah, 
Oh, I hope yours tastes as good as this one. And that's it for this week. If you've been cooking along, don't forget to share your pictures on the Big Local Facebook group. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.